my name is Alan Cardon. I'm French. Uh, actually, quite international. I was born in Algeria, raised in Egypt 16 years, uh, studied in the States afterwards. Uh, I had to pay my way through college, actually, so I got into a. Uh, I was going to college days and working in a factory at night. And, um, and then finally arrived in France when I was about 24 and started being really French about that time. So I'm more of an international person from birth, uh, gradually being based in France. But today, actually, I'm based 50% of my time in Romania, uh, 15 days a month, uh, traveling back and forth every month. The other half is in France or Western Europe because I also work in Germany and Spain and sometimes North Africa. I used to travel all over the world, but I'm 63, so I'm starting to slow down a little bit, and, uh, pay more attention to my health. <laughs> um, so that's just uh, what do I do? I'm, uh, the, the name is a coach. I'm an internationally certified coach by the International Coach Federation. And um, we can say it's consulting, or we can say it's accompanying other people in their success uh, uh, to, to succeed their ambitions or so, you know. So we can say, yeah, how did I succeed? Personally, I never really looked at my success. It's, not, it's never been a goal, okay? My goal was to do what I do. Uh, so to really focus on my work and do it well. So I can, in a way, I can consider myself an artist. And I, and I think anybody in any field, if you, if you decide to become the best, not compared to other people, but compared to the best in you, in other words, really d develop what you have in you and go all the way. Uh, at some point, uh, people are going to say, oh, wow, you're one of the best in the world. Okay? Um, but it's not a goal in the beginning. The goal in the beginning is to really do what you do and what you have to do well. So it turns out that I'm in a communication field, I'm in a uh, international. All this is part of my background, because when you're raised between three cultures, you're already mixing frames of references and communication. So I think everybody, in a way, is, you know, has a lot of potential that is given, depending on the background you have. Uh, we could also say my background is a really negative background raised without a father. My mother married several times. We were you know, disrupted in the family. I could, you know, I did years of therapy to try and get my act together and, and uh, success didn't just come like this or at any rate I had to search in me also at what I had to do with myself to, to develop and become good with others. Uh, but m my whole life has been, you know, going from something to another thing to another thing on a line there is if i look back it sounds like it's predetermined that i'm going in a very specific direction i never left that direction okay. but when i was doing it i never knew what was coming uh, so looking back though my life has coherency i sound like an old man here looking forward and i still see a number of years you know where i can be productive or serve or something is that I don't imagine retiring right away because I have a sort of passion for what I do and I think I can do it well and it's useful for other people and you know they recognize it and they come and ask me for it. Uh, being 63 today, I'm at the you know top of my career so far. I never had so much work coming from so many people, so much recognition and I don't think it's ready to stop. It's not like the top, uh, it's the top so far. I don't think it's going to stop until maybe my health limits me or something. So having this passion and and having and feeling useful, feeling that like I'm contributing something, um, uh, just you know gives me energy to continue doing it. I think the day I feel that I'm not doing something right and clients tell me, uh, you know, they, they'll quit coming. Uh, I have to say, okay, I've served my time, you know, now it's time to, to stop and, and rest. Uh, but I don't imagine it's going to be very quickly. Um, so basically, how to succeed is forget about succeeding. That's not, it's not an objective in itself. 
succeeding as a result. It's like earning money. Earning money is not an objective. Doing something right is the objective, and the recognition you get is, is money, or the recognition you get is success. I'm always surprised when somebody says, you're one of the best coaches in the world, you know, wow, congratulations, you're good. Say, so compared to what? Compared to myself? I think I can probably develop more. There's, there's other stuff I can do, there's, you know, I can, I can discover. I don't think I've... I don't think humans come to their limits. We have huge potential. Everybody has huge, huge potential. You know, the potential God gave us. We live at a portion of that potential. Uh, so it's, it's a, a question I keep looking at for myself and for my clients. Are they at the top of their potential? Uh, you know, what's under the, you know, gas pedal there? Uh, how can they go there, discover it, own it, realize it, and decide to go and do it? This is what I do for myself, in a way, without pushing, you know, it's not, but it's an aspiration. So to succeed, I would say, is just follow your aspiration, what is, whatever it is. It's making shoes become the best in the world. It's, um, you know, like any master, I'm considered a master coach, okay, any master, a master violinist, we're talking about violin, a master violin maker, if you're the best in the world, you know, you're, you're succeeding, you're doing it right, but it's not an objective to become the best in the world. The objective is doing what you do so well, uh, and it's never enough. There's always more potential. It's a constant discovery. It's like an exploration. Uh, so it's an inner exploration through what you do uh, that takes you there. And at some point, okay, you evaluate yourself. It's good to stay humble. One way to stay humble is to say, compared to what I could do, if I was, you know, if I continue developing, if I continue developing in the next 10 years the way I have in the last 10, you know, what's the limit? Uh, so that's, I would say, the road to success is forget about success. Just do your passion completely and, and, uh, and go there and have fun doing it. As a result, it's not work. I don't consider it work. Uh, when, when, you know, I get paid for something, it's not work. It's a, it's a relationship with people, it's a company. Them. A lot of my clients become friends, very good friends. Uh, sometimes we you know, keep on a relationship for 10, 15 years. As some people have retired, we still kind of, you know, in contact. And uh, so is this work? You know, uh, so I hope I answered the question. Very good. Do you have other advices that you would like to, to share? to people that they want to evolve faster? that they Evolve faster? Yes. Uh, I think it's good to, to respect time. Things have to be digested, okay? Which is, does not mean be lazy, but to do it at the right pace. Uh, I, you know, it's like maturing a fruit or a wine. If you have a very good wine that's aged 40 years, the question is now, how can you do it faster? Yeah. Uh, you need 40 years to age 40 years. Uh, now, of course, how can you develop during 40 years to become you know, what you can be in 40 years? But you can't be born with uh, the experience that you get uh, uh, going through difficult periods in life, going through different phases, seeing what each age brings, you know, each, uh, each experience, uh, you know, each, I don't know, difficult experience, divorce, uh, uh, failure is actually not a failure, it's a learning uh, proposal done by life. Do uh, you want to fail faster? Uh, you know, how can you take the experience from it? Uh, a separation process is difficult, it takes a while, you know, you, you can't just, for instance, if you leave a place and go to another place, it, it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, if you leave a person you've lived with for 10 years or a partner in business, 
you need time to digest that, to regroup, to think what's the next step. You can't rush through this. It's not, you know. Uh, so I don't think the problem is doing it fast. Maybe it's hurry up slowly. Don't waste time. But uh, don't push it, you know. Uh, so, I, you know, we all get the same time in life. So use it well, but uh, doing it too slow or too fast isn't just doing it at the right rhythm, you know. <laughs>